passenger experience. Second part of the passenger experience is the Vande Bharat train, a very, very complex piece of machine, very complex piece. When Prime Minister gave this challenge that design a world class train, the first impulse was go out, go to Germany, go to France, go to Japan, import it. But PM said no, it has to be designed by our engineers, it has to be manufactured in India, it has to be really make in India, made in India, designed in India train and the train is a huge success. Almost every 7-8 days a new train is getting uh, launched. Mm -hmm. A small video where I would like you to the design elements were so complex that since the tracks are in whatever shape they are, we designed a train which has been tested for 180 kmph. Look at this glass of water. As we say in Hindi, Pani ki glass nahi hili, lekin dunya hil gai. Look at the glass of water, right? This is not stuck there, it is lying just like, right? This is where the entire design elements came in. Like in a truck, you have a chassis below the truck. In train, below the coach, there is a very complex piece of machine called bogey, in which the wheels sit, the gear sit, the uh, traction, the bull gear, this is the bull gear out here. That bull gear would be sitting here, the motor will sit on this. We designed it to a precision, which is actually today, I feel very proud to say that, when Prime Minister gave the challenge, it has, it has to be lower in cost, better in quality, then only you will be able to export it. So we created a system which is lower in cost, better in quality compared to global standards. So this is where the big engineering thing lies, right? Again, passenger experience comes for stations, trains, safety. So the safety system that world uses is practically a European system called ETCS. Very complex system. We decided to design and develop our own system out here, which has to be simple, which can be replicated, taken to the world. System called Kavach, it automatically stops. It's like if you compare with the current European system, which is ETCS L2, level 2, this is better than level 2. And comparable to level 3, level 3 very few countries are there, but we are rapidly moving in this direction. This is a test in which I personally uh, sat in one train, other train there was chairman of railway board, same track, two trains coming at high speed and the coverage stops the system exactly at 400 meters automatically. Both locos successfully break and automatically stop at almost Both the train automatically meters. stop at exactly 400 meters. I took that risk. Being an engineer, I feel very comfortable and confident of our engineering talent in the country. I will come to the bullet train friends. Very complex design, very complex piece of engineering, very complex project. But the progress is phenomenal. Progress is phenomenal. By now, we have completed 149 kilometers of pillars. Recently, Japanese, very senior people came from the Japanese Prime Minister's office and they were surprised at the pace and quality of the work and some of the innovations that we have done in this construction uh, project. This full span casting yard the Japanese actually said that they would like to replicate this kind of thing in their construction technologies. Huge machines, most of these machines, first machine we learned from outside, but then all the machines we build, designed in the country. Large construction, large, very, very large, totally new way of working. Again, Prime Minister said that don't look at this project as a construction project, think of this project as a project which changes the way of working in the country. That's the way 
that's the target he set before us. Mm -hmm. These are the challenges that he put before us and friends the designs which have been created by our teams, phenomenal if you look at some of the designs, this is New Delhi station. Can you imagine and this is not uh, something which is there in far away future, this is the complete design done, all the urban planning agencies who have to give their permits some 100 odd permits taken, tender already issued, by the middle of March the tender will be awarded, all the pre-work which requires to be done, all the pre-works done, this is something which you will see in construction in the coming couple of years. Huge urban space getting created, roof plaza, roof plaza was a concept that Prime Minister himself gave. He said our stations are and Prime Minister is very closely connected with railways as all of us know. It is an emotional connect for him. So, he said all our stations are there in congested urban spaces. Can we create new urban space in stations? So, this is the idea he gave. So, in New Delhi station we are creating close to 50 acres of new urban space. Imagine how much more opportunity the city will get. This is, these are all pictures of that design. Everywhere we are going for elevated, wherever large cities are there, people should not feel, people should be very comfortable when they come to the station. So, we are creating this elevated approach and uh, departure roads. So, there is a separate arrival, there is a separate departure and this is all on elevated network so that the because these are large stations where millions of people come every year, millions, these are not numbers in thousands, these are numbers in millions so, and the way railway network will grow, this will see multiple growth in the coming years. So, everywhere we are going for complete master plan, very focused urban space creation, very focused multimodal integration, very focused separation of departure and arrival wherever needed elevated uh, routes to reach the station and to go out of the station. Maybe some spot where I have to stand, uh -huh. yeah this is Ahmedabad, again one of the few iconic stations, of course every station is important, but some of the stations are really iconic. These are stations which carry more than 10 million passengers every year. So, all of them are being taken up in a very, very meticulous planning. Again, tender done to be awarded within next few weeks, next few days, pre-construction activities almost on the verge of completion, all operational uh, decisions taken. So, these are progressing very, very well and again we are taking up a very modular approach to construction creating roof plaza, creating elevated uh, transport corridor around the station. These are three roofs getting constructed, multimodal plaza, uh, 